In general, how do you think that the storm has affected the real estate climate here in Staten Island? When you look at it from the perspective of just the emotional aspect of any tragedy, everything is on pause. So the market essentially paused in relation to the storm. We were out of business for a month at least, meaning that besides not having electric for nearly two weeks, everything's on pause. So it just, from, from that perspective, the impact was drastic. It was drastic in the minds of people who are in the process of purchasing. Is Staten Island essentially gone? And I think, you know, if you're not from the borough and you're moving here from somewhere else, that may have been the, it's like, okay, this place is completely devastated. The realities are is that it's while not completely it, devastated. Right. I think, I mean, a good majority of the island is intact, um, except for, you know, uh, limited coastal areas. What percentage of the island do you think was really affected by the storm? Um, it's definitely less than 10%. Um, I don't see it being more than that. The, the impacts, uh, you know, to the housing market in general, as far as how much structural damage was done, I mean, there was considerable structural damage. But as far as, you know, when you take a look at the entire island, um, you know, I wouldn't venture to say it would be much, much beyond 10% of the entire market. So from a housing market standpoint, yes, the, I mean, uh, the amount and scope of damage overall um, may not be as huge as the emotional scars. Right. It's more of a psychological impact. There's a huge psychological impact. I think there's a huge psychological impact just from, you know, being part of that, that whole event. And I think, you know, it's impacted everybody. I don't think it's something that, you know, anybody's going to quickly forget. But like I said, um, from a housing market perspective, um, things are back in the swing. I mean, basically, the market has picked up. It's even better, where, better than where it was last year at this time. And there was no, the storm wasn't even on, you know, obviously on the map at that point. So I think, I do believe that we're, we're, we've made a lot of progress in the housing market since, since the storm. The emotional impacts, it's still tough for these folks. So Anthony, how do you think the effects of the storm have changed the buying process for first-time homeowners? One of the things, obviously, is, is the house that I'm buying or purchasing I'm going to have any type of damage related to the storm. The important thing to note for buyers is, is that part of the New York state law is that all disclosures be made about any latent defects about a house. And if a house was impacted by the storm, it really has to be, it has to be disclosed to the buyer at, at that time. The question is, is does that make it a bad house or, or does it make it a house that someone doesn't want to buy there are a lot of parameters for making those decisions. Um, you know, how far inland they were from, from, the, from, from the storm, are some of the protection measures being put in place. They may actually be getting a better deal than even if they pursued it in an in a area that may not have been impacted at all. And then based on the measures that are being taken place, it may be a good investment. It's, you know, it's something that Home buyers obviously should question about and see if you know something has been affected, and you know if they're consulting a real estate professional, they're supposed to disclose that. And you know, just the, the, it, it, there are very safe investments here, and I think overall most of the stuff that they're going to come across hasn't been affected, or it's going to you know, or it's going to clearly be stated and whatever they're viewing, that something of the house was remodeled or changed based on, you know, some of the storm damage that happened with Sandy. But I think, like, the impact on first home buyers overall is fear. I mean, it's a very tough market to deal with in general because of a lot of the uncertainty about the home, home ownership in general. What is it going to mean for them, the costs associated with it, the challenges of paying for it, and now 
the possibility of something being impacted. So it does add another fold into what you know first home home buyers are going to be concerned with. But I think it's it, it can be mitigated and with some good research and good help, um, they'll be able to address any of those issues at the time of their you know intended purchase.